What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of a program called iTools 2013. And well, this is my iPhone. It's an iPhone 4S, 8 gigabyte, and I got it on 2/27/2014. It was a uh, gift from my son. He looked over at me and said, "Happy birthday!" Birthday was on the 19th of February. So, so anyway, uh, what we're gonna do here is that, uh, well, I was doing some searching, trying to hunt for a program that would allow me to see the iPhone desktop on my Windows desktop. And so this program does exactly that. We come over here to desktop. This view right here shows my desktop. It shows our main and then our second screen right here. And so you can click on each one of these, but you can't really do anything to them. And well, actually, you can move them around so I can actually change the way these look and uh, change where they're at. So that's basically about all that can be done here. And uh, let's refresh it. And so, but yeah, that's pretty cool. But the main reason why I got it is so that I can actually see live updates of what I'm doing on my iPhone. And uh, this application allows you to do that by clicking on the live desktop and the live desktop this right here is my actual screen of my desktop so anyway you can come in here and you can access all of your applications and let's say that you want to do some lessons on how to use something this right here is a really good program to do exactly that so whatever you do you can just come over here you can click on a program and open it up and then you can go in and do a lesson on how to do whatever it is that you want to do and so it's a really neat program but let's go through some of the features that the um, itunes 2013 gives you so anyway let's check out our applications and this right here will show you the applications that are installed on your system you can actually come over here and check and choose to uninstall the application you can back up the applications or whatever it is that you choose to do and you uh, also got access to your media you can access all of your media files here, your ringtones, your video, podcasts, iTunes University, TV shows, audiobooks, music videos, and voice memos, something that I do a lot of. And then we have our photos here, and that is my son holding his dog, and then you can access iBooks only if you have iBooks available on here, and I don't. Then you got access to your storage. Um, not really sure what exactly to do here i just had to do some more research and then we got our information and so we got messages here and it's loading info from your device and then it loads uh, the phone numbers and everything which i will make it to where y'all cannot see that because y'all don't need to be calling me then we have notes here so these are all the notes that i've made bookmark icloud is used itools can't can't read bookmarks need to close so iTools can read bookmarks. Okay, I'm not really concerned about that. So then we come over here to the calendar and the same thing. So both of these right here, the only way you can access these two features within iTools is to close out of the iCloud for bookmarks and the iCloud for the calendar in order for iTools to access both of them applications. Then we have our desktop and then we got our file system here. And this right here is the different file folders that are within. So we got Safari, iTunes, Control, Radio, and so forth. And then we got our directory for voice memos. And these are all of the voice memos that I have created. And then we've got advanced. We can come over here with cleanup. Not really sure what that would do, so I'm not going to click on it. We can view the system log. Now the system log shows you what happened today. So whatever's happened from the time that you started using it, which have been, so, or, or at least for the last, um, I think it only does it for an hour. So it actually shows for the last hour of what's actually been done on your system. So you can come over here and see what all has been done since you've been using it for the last hour. You can also save out the log if you want, or you can choose OK to exit it out. You can also connect on to iTunes, which is showing that it's on. And then you can also view your crash logs. Come here to the messages. Some of these logs you cannot view. Click on them and they tell you the file is being used and cannot be opened. So that means that iPhone is actually using this file so far right now. So then we can come over here and we can view this one. And it just lets us know that the operation couldn't be completed. So something happened and it created an error. An error number three. 
Then we come over here and then we can close out of it. And then we can also shut down or reboot our iPhone from this application. We can also access the App Store. I really want to see 300 Rise of the Empire, so I'm going to have to watch that one day. Anyway, you can access the, the iPhone Store or the, the iStore. And um, you can download and install the applications right from within this program. You can also access the library, so the application, so uh, uh, it doesn't really show anything here, so it says right here, all apps are the latest version, so I reckon if there's any new updates to any of the applications that you have installed on your system, this program will actually list them updates for you to choose to install them. And so then you come down here to inside the tools area, you can come over here, you can make your own ringtone and also work with PXL to IPA, iTunes auto backup, iTunes backups, and associated with IPAs. And so, I mean, there's a lot of useful features within this program, so uh, I'll have the links and uh, within the description below for y'all to check it out. So go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, Wayne Barron here with DarkFX.net inside of my iPhone 4S. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.